Previously, the guys and ghouls packed their bags and hit the road for a quick getaway. Heath being Heath chose to drive separately from the rest of the group. While on the road, Frankie and the ghouls got a little lost and couldn't get a signal for their GPS. Then an unexpected flat tire left them stranded on the side of the highway. Now, let's see how they'll get back on the road. Jackson, it's okay. I promise you, we're not gonna be stuck here forever. Everyone, calm down. Let's just think. It's just a flat tire. I know Jackson's here, but not all of us are helpless. Let's evaluate the situation like logical adults and we can figure this out, okay? Frankie, do you have a spare tire in your car? I'm not sure, let me go check. OMG, I can't believe it, I found a spare tire. I didn't even know I had one. Good, we're one step ahead. Now we just have to figure out how to change it. Does anyone here know how to change a spare tire? Yeah, no. Great. Well, we can figure out the tire thing in a minute, but we should try to let Heath know what's going on so he doesn't get to the hotel without us. And how are we supposed to contact him? There's no signal out here. Here, I'll try my phone again. Maybe I'll get lucky. Ah, I got a bar. Here, I'll text him. Ugh, my text still won't go through. I don't have a strong enough signal. Why is my life like this? I'm not that bad of a person. Hmm, well oddly enough, my Instagram feed is loading. Let me try DMing Heath and I'll see if that'll go through. He'll probably check his Instagram DMs before his texts anyway. Yes, my message sent. Oh, and look at that, he's already read it. He's typing now. Okay, he says it's on his way. Classic Heath, texting and driving. Yet we're the ones stuck on the side of the road. Ugh. Well, this is great news, everyone. Now all that's left to do is wait for Heath. Maybe he can figure out how to get us some help. There you are! Finally! Jeez, what took you so long? Seriously, I messaged you two hours ago. Sorry, not sorry, losers! The Starbies drive through was super backed up, and you know how I can get without my caffeine fix! Ah, this frap was so worth the wait. Anyway, what's so important that you had to interrupt my car hype sesh for? We got a flat tire and we're stuck! We found a spare tire, but no one knows how to change it. Do you happen to know how to fix a flat tire? Do I look like I do manual labor? My $500 manicure can answer that question for you. No way! I'm not sure why you guys thought Heath could be a help to us in this situation. Well, at least we're all together now. I'm sure we can figure this out, right? How hard could it be to change a flat tire? I'm so sorry guys. I honestly have no idea how to do this. Heath, could you make yourself useful and at least try to help us? Um, I don't know how to change a tire. I pay people to do that for me, duh. And I don't appreciate you guys forcing me to put my road trip on hold to stand around and watch you guys struggle out here. And to make it worse, I drank my whole Frappuccino already. Ugh! Does anyone know if there's another Starbucks around here? I need a refill. Well, now it's even worse that Claudine couldn't join us for this trip. She told me that she took a mechanic class in high school. I'm sure she'd know what to do. Do you think you could get enough service to call her and see if she could walk us through it? Hmm, it's worth a shot. Oh, thank God, it's ringing. Hello? Claudine, I'm so glad you picked up. Uh, what's going on? I'm about to go have dinner with my family. Yeah, um, we're kind of in the middle of a situation. Oh no, okay, I think I can make time for this. What's up? Yeah, so you know how we were gonna go on a road trip, right? Well, we got a flat tire and we're stuck in the middle of nowhere. I could barely even get a connection to call you. Anyway, I know you mentioned you took a mechanic class. Do you know how to change a flat tire? Yikes, that sounds rough. But yeah, I actually do. That is such a relief to hear. I don't know if this will work, but do you think you could try to talk us through the process on the phone? Yeah, yeah, I'll try. I don't want you guys stuck on the side of the road forever. Oh, thank you, Claudine. You're a lifesaver. Guys, she knows how to change a tire and she's gonna explain it to us. Okay, so get all your tools together and get and then you can start. What? I think you're cutting out. Oh, oops. You just get your tools and your spare tire ready and then go to remove the flat tire. Okay, got it. How do we take off the tire? You- Ugh, I can't hear you. My connection is awful and you're cutting out again. 
just take the off. Claudine? Claudine? Ugh, we lost her. Great. God dang it. Well, this is hopeless. We're never gonna be able to figure out how to change this tire. Anyone have a plan B? This was the plan B. Plan A was not getting stuck in a random field and actually getting to take a freaking vacation. Hey Heath, you have a car. Maybe you could pile in and drive somewhere with a better internet connection and then call someone and come back for my car. Are you crazy? My car is a two-seater and I'm not letting you losers anywhere near my leather seats. Plus I just vacuumed my floorboards and Jackson's dirty feet are strictly forbidden. Oh. Well, we don't really have a better option right now. Come on, you and me, let's go. We're gonna drive up the road and call a mechanic. No, Abby! Don't touch my suitcases! Hey, be careful with that! You're getting my Louise Vuitton bags dirty! Ow! Just get in and drive already, ugh. Fine! You guys suck! We'll be back. Wish me luck. wasn't so bad now, was it? Now I'm gonna go call for help. Ugh, I think I deserve another Frappuccino for putting up with everyone's nonsense today. Time to place a Starbucks mobile order, baby! What do you mean there's no one available today? But we're stranded on the side of the road! Well, what are we supposed to do? Walk home? Fine! Ugh, you're no help. Why does this stuff always happen to me? What now? No one can send a mechanic out here until tomorrow morning. Tomorrow? Uh-uh, what do they expect me to do? Sleep outside? Never in a million years! Yep, well, we're screwed for real now. Come on, let's go back and tell everyone the news. Wait, I haven't gotten to place my mobile order yet! It takes me a solid 10 minutes to type in all my Frappuccino modifications on the Starbucks app. Forget your stupid Frappuccino, Heath. Let's just go. Ugh, this day just keeps getting worse! You're back! So, did you call for help? Please tell me we're getting out of here. Well, I was kind of able to call for help. Oh no, what does that mean? They can't send a mechanic out here until tomorrow. Ugh. Oh, what are we gonna do? Ooh, we could set up a little campsite for the night. We can make the best out of this situation, guys. Come on! I am not sleeping outside! The only type of camping I'm interested in is glamping, and I do not see a five-star hotel with a spa and continental breakfast around here. Then what should we do? I don't really see another option. I might have an idea. Heath, you're just gonna have to deal with this, okay? Huh? Everyone pile in Heath's car. We're turning around and driving home. Frankie, we'll just have to come back for your car later. Wait, but what about our vacation? Forget it. At this point, I just want to go home. Ugh, what's it gonna take for us to have a relaxing vacation? No! I said you guys aren't allowed in my car! Too bad. It's happening, buddy. Unless you'd rather sleep on the ground outside with the bugs and wild animals. Ugh! Fine! But nobody better scratch my leather seats! Well, this is uncomfortable. At least it's not that long of a drive home. Ugh, Jackson, try not to let your feet touch my floorboards. God, why don't you own a pair of shoes? 